I just took a Pilates class this morning. I signed up for this random one and I actually really liked it. This is the best Pilates class I've been to. It's really hard to follow the instructor just because I'm pretty new to Pilates. I've only taken it a handful of times. This one was challenging, but I didn't feel like completely lost, which is a nice feeling. Legs are literally shaking at the end. And now I feel really good and energized. I'm pretty hungry. I might pick up a little smoothie bowl. I recently got this smoothie bowl from Ever Everbowl. It was freaking delicious. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna hold, so hopefully, hopefully it holds. <laughs> One of the things I really miss about living in California is being able to just drive everywhere. If it wasn't for living here, ah, I would not be able to drive. Ah, uh, no, just the three bowls. Okay, thank you so much. Also, a friend that we're staying with. I'm gonna wait until we get home, but I want to eat some now because I'm so hungry. This is called the Blue Lagoon. I think it's blue spirulina, chia seed pudding, and then just like a bunch of fruit on top. Oh, I think it has like dragon fruit too. favorite taco place or tacos <laughs> Airbnb that we're staying at is actually only two blocks from the beach, so it's so nice. It's still really early, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted to enjoy the weather. It's just so beautiful. Soak in the sun while I can. First stop, I'm just gonna go grab some coffee. Can I get a hot latte with oat milk?
we are finally back in New York. It feels so good to be home. You know that feeling when like you're on a trip for a long time and you're coming home, you're gonna be in your own bed, no shower, that's how I feel right now. I'm about to get like unpacked, shower, and just make myself at home. But first, I wanna show you guys this suitcase that I have been using. It has held up so well. It's from the brand Monos. And thank you so much to Monos for sponsoring this portion of the video. I got the carry-on and the large check-in in both of this champagne color, and it's so pretty. It's honestly such a good, sturdy material. I'm actually really surprised how well the check-in luggage held up. Usually, it gets really dirty, and I was a little afraid because it is a lighter color but besides a few like scratches that are just going to be inevitable it just looks really good still I'm sure you guys saw when I was packing my suitcase how great the compartments are. I absolutely love my mono suitcases. They have so many colors to choose from and so many different kinds of suitcases. If you guys are interested in getting yourself a new suitcase, definitely check them out. All right, let's get to unpacking, putting everything away, doing some laundry, and just getting my life together. feels so good to shower in my own shower. I'm pretty hungry right now, and I wanna just kinda make a homemade meal. So I think I'm gonna go to the supermarket, maybe I'll go to Trader Joe's, and grab myself some groceries. So we were in California for a total of pretty much three weeks, and it was really nice because I really miss being there. Just like so nice, calm, and serene. But I did miss being back in my own home. I used to always think of myself as such a like New York City city girl because I grew up here. But now, I don't know, I feel like very conflicted between two places. If you guys have moved out of where you grew up from, do you ever get that same feeling that you don't really... Like you kind of belong in both places but you don't really know where you belong. And that's kind of how I've been feeling, especially like this trip. Part of me like really wanted to stay and then another part of me just really wanted to go home. And I think I'm starting to lean more towards California. I just kind of see myself living there in the future once like we kind of settle down. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you see me more in New York or in California? All right, I'm putting on some sunscreen because I just feel like my skin needs all the nutrients that it can get it just feels so dry after a long flight honestly the flight wasn't even that long it was like four and a half hours but it just feels so dehydrated Let's do a Trader Joe's haul. I got a bunch of things because we literally have like nothing in our fridge. 
some cucumbers for my salad tonight, celery, bananas, cheese, lettuce for sandwiches, onion, tomatoes for sandwiches, chicken broth, avocado, some blackberries, and an apple, bread, mini plain bagels, which I just realized I forgot to get cream cheese, oatmeal, I got two of these. These are just like such an easy breakfast. I really like them. Cold cuts for sandwiches, Great tomatoes for my salad, just chicken. I talked about like not liking to cut chicken in um, my what I eat in a day video. So I like getting these when I just want like easy chicken pieces to work with. Some carrots for chicken noodle soup. And then I got this, which is such a easy, delicious um, pasta to make. It's literally all done. It's in the frozen food section as well. So I'm gonna make this tonight as well with my salad. Samson's fat-free milk, oat milk. Cheese puffs, which are so good. I think they're better than like just regular cheese puffs. Butter salad, I mean butter lettuce for my salad. Dashu nuts, I think Samson got this. Greek yogurt, pickles, some actual pasta. finished with the salad it's a random like apple salad i don't even know but i just put a bunch of like my favorite ingredients in it it feels healthy so i'm excited to eat it this is a lot samson and i are gonna share it just taste testing it i loved this when i was in college because it was pretty cheap and it fills me up and it's so good Honestly, just craving vegetables. Okay, I don't know why I am standing and eating. I'm gonna sit down, enjoy my meal, and probably just chill for the rest of the night. <laughs>